Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of long sign. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am making some DIY old-fashioned Christmas decorations. These are going to be used in my own home. If you're new here, I have an antique booth called Green Onion Vintage. I'm normally sharing projects here on my channel to sell in my booth, but today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my favorite kind of vintage DIY handmade projects that I like to use in my own home for decorations. I make them, or some version of these at least, every year. And they're some of my favorite things to do with my kids. Most of these projects are kid friendly, so if you have some little helpers around, um, these are really good to include them in. And I like that these projects kind of require you to slow down and spend some time together, also practice some patience, um, and then you get to enjoy your handmade decorations in your home. So there's just a few reasons there why they're my favorite things to do. Before I get started on my DIY projects though, I'm just cleaning up this hutch area right off of my kitchen. I've been using it as a homeschool space, but now I have moved most of my homeschooling stuff downstairs, so I'm just trying to clean up before I add in some Christmas decor, and I'm leaving out my big enamel soup pot you just saw there that I use almost every day of the winter, so I like to have that out and nice and handy. So I mean, not an amazing before and after, but you can definitely see that I took out a lot of the homeschool stuff, some of the clutter, and it's a little bit more organized, and I still have the art stuff up here for my kids. but. Now it feels a little bit more ready to add in some of my Christmas decor. I'm starting off today's video with a dried orange garland. I know you guys have seen this done a hundred times, but it is something that I like to do. It smells so good while they're baking. Um, I will say that I slice these a little thicker than I should have. So that is my first tip to you. Slice them about an eighth of an inch. I was going more closer to like a quarter of an inch, so they took forever to dry. Um, but besides that, I mean, it's pretty hard to mess this up. Uh, my little helpers definitely could not do the orange cutting this year, but they did help me here kind of lay them out. And I didn't have them string them on later just because I did it when they were in bed, but that would be another chance for you to include your kids in this project as well. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet for all Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, dear, for old lang syne. Another DIY project that I get asked about a lot by everybody who comes over 
Um, and it has some definitely like old fashioned vintage vibes to me are our stockings. Um, I hand knit all of these myself. I'm totally joking. I do not know how to knit and I'm a terrible crocheter. I bought all of these. I think at either like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods. I think like a compilation of those stores over the years. And then just for everybody's name, I use, I believe it's like some cheap Walmart stencils to trace out the letters onto some felt. And then I just do an embroidery stitch onto the stockings. So they look kind of handmade. I have a ma and a pa. And then I did Rowan. I did these a few years ago, of course. And then Lincoln, once he came along. And I am desperately searching right now for a stocking that's a similar style for Miles. And I'm having no luck. I feel like I don't even see anything similar at Home Goods um, or TJ Maxx. I'm pretty sure these are mostly from TJ Maxx. Um, I love my husband's, I think most of all. It's like very ugly sweater. But I think this is just the color combinations and the big chunky knit feels very artistic and just uh, really fun, very vintagey. I just love like how cozy they feel, but I am really struggling right now with finding one for miles, but I did want to share that idea, kind of a different way of customizing stockings that I haven't really seen anybody else do. I just think these are so fun and colorful and they're one of my favorite things to pull out every year. So really quickly, I'm gonna to put together a few goodie bags for my kids for Christmas Eve Eve. We've kind of started a tradition there of watching a Christmas movie. And so I'm gonna give them some popcorn and some hot cocoa. And I need to grab some candy canes also. Um, they have some like really big ones from Target that I like. And then just a couple, couple peppermints we're gonna throw in there. And then they get like a fresh pair of jammies for our Christmas Eve Eve tradition. Um, we have a lot of other like family obligations on Christmas Eve day and Christmas day. So Christmas Eve Eve, we kind of try to make special for our little family at home. Um, and so that's really worked out. So I'm just gonna stamp on to these paper bags, just the boys initials. I think I'm gonna do a capital letter and then just fill in with a few like goodies for that night. And then um, this will just be a, a fun little surprise for them on that night as we get ready to go to bed and wake up on our first Christmas, which is Christmas Eve, and then for actual Christmas day. So I'm gonna show you the process now of just putting these together. Using the stamps from Iron Orchid Design, these are the typesetting stamps. I think these would be really great to use on your wrapping paper also. I love to use just some brown butcher's paper for wrapping paper. You can get it really affordably at Sam's, I think in like a three pack. Um, and that would look so pretty and just old fashioned to have the brown paper and then you could stamp on somebody's name. And you don't have to get these expensive stamps from Iron Orchid Designs. There's much more affordable options at Walmart if you'd rather do something like that or Michael's. Um, so I just think that would look really pretty and then just like a simple bow with it. I just think that would be a really beautiful way to present your gifts. I love doing little touches like this because you can really make something inexpensive, like a brown paper bag, look very high end, but also very primitive at the same time.
just giving my eight month old an applesauce pouch this year, which is definitely not as good as hot chocolate, but next year I'm sure he'll be enjoying the good stuff. Next up is my kids favorite project every year and that is our salt dough ornaments. Um, we use a really simple recipe, four cups of flour, a cup of salt, and one and a half cups of water. Um, I let them mix it as much as they can and right here my seven year old is using a knife to level out the flour. He thinks that's a pretty impressive uh, kitchen skill that he likes to do. So he's my measure, he's my mixer, and then eventually I go in and knead the dough until it's smooth. And then I just let them cut out the shapes that they like. I'm not too particular about them looking perfect. Uh, I let them paint them whatever colors they want. And then this year I have Miles, who it's his first Christmas, and I make a little handprint ornament for him since it is his first one this year. Um, and like I said, I don't go too crazy about making these look perfect or anything. These are definitely something more for the kids. And I love, again, pulling these out every single year, putting them on the tree. And they're one of my favorite things and definitely my kids' favorite. The dear Savior's birth Long lay the world in sin and error pining Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth A thrill of hope The weary world rejoices for Yonder breaks a 
new and glorious morn fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voice say. The night and Christ was born. Oh, night divine. Oh, night divine. Led by the now I will say that this garland became more of a project than anticipated. I made it a little bit too small and so I decided to add some greenery on the sides. I got this antique door header a couple years ago and hung it over my front door here and I painted my front door green um, just a few months ago. Um, so it's really nice to kind of decorate this space for the first time for Christmas. I'm really enjoying all like the antique elements together but I don't know if I hit it out of the park with this one. I feel like it looked a little simple, so I added the wreaths on the side, and then it looked a little unbalanced, so I added a little bit more greenery across. And I decided to do some greenery down the sides also. I don't know, I'm not sure that I am in love with it, so there's a chance I'm either just gonna leave it for the rest of Christmas, um, or there's a really good chance it's just gonna fall down one day and I'll just pull it down. I'm not sure, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, it's a little off balanced. I feel like I almost need to pull the greenery all the way down, but that would require me to go shopping and I didn't really want to go buy anything new. So here's how it turned out. It's okay. You know, it's not bad. I like it. I love greenery that has pine cones and berries on it though. I think that combination is so pretty. I've said it a hundred times on my channel. Here's just kind of one last look at how my touch area turned out with all of my uh, final Christmas decorations added on. I'm kind of going a little more minimal this year than I normally do and doing a lot more um, greenery and like natural looking elements. I have a lot of berries and just sprigs of greenery and some little wreaths tucked in. So trying to make everything feel really nice and natural and not going too overboard. There's how my popcorn garland turned out right there. I get asked about my hutch a lot. I did paint it in a past video, so I'll link that video down below for you. I love this little bread box here. I think that color of that oak is so pretty, or maybe it's pine. I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. And my white enamel pot, which is my absolute favorite. Some of my dry goods in my big half gallon jars. And I put a couple Christmas trees up top there. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was kind of relaxing to you and gave you some ideas for some things you can do with your family as well. I hope you're enjoying the Christmas season and thank you so much for watching i will look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks bye bye Lit by the light of faith serenely beaming the glowing hearts by his cradle we stand so lit by light our stars sweetly gleaming here come the wise men from Orient land, the king of kings, laid us lowly manger in all our dress, born to be our friend.